Hey, it's Ron Moore here. They say, don't they, things like, uh, you know, go hard or go home. Um, you know, get rich or die trying. Uh, do or do not, there is no try. And actually, I think a lot of that's quite bad advice. It puts a lot of pressure on you. Often you feel the pressure to be perfect. Um, whereas a lot of people also say, and I think this is good advice, done is better than perfect. So um, I'm, I'm definitely no, you know, Italian stallion, Greek statue of fitness. But I can tell you this, uh, my best workouts, I've worked this out in my head now, are the ones where I can't be asked. They're the ones where nine other days out of 10, I wouldn't have bothered, um, but actually thought, you know what, I'm just gonna get something done, even if I only get 20 minutes done, even if I can only push that sledge <laughs> about a meter. You know, because like they say, done is better than perfect. You know, getting started uh, and getting going is what leads to good results down the line. So I would say that often your half-assed efforts at, you know, creating your vision or doing a workout or, uh, you know, trying but not being great leads to greatness. Uh, and also, when you take the pressure off yourself to be the finished article, you know, sometimes like if you've done really hard workouts, if you're into working out, um, you know, it's a bit scary to go and do a workout with a personal trainer who's going to absolutely kill you and wipe the floor with you. Um, and, and so, you, you know, you, you kind of go back within yourself and, and, and maybe you build this fear or this resistance or a lot of pressure on yourself to, you know, to go out and, and do things. So what would I say? Um, sometimes, you know, doing but not doing that great isn't a bad thing because at least you tried. Now, of course, if you're a, a, an airline pilot, you know, I, I'm not saying your half assed attempt to fly an airplane is the best. If you're a doctor, an airline pilot or something where you need to have a very, you do need to be perfect, then you need to be perfect. But being an entrepreneur, serving your clients and customers, getting fit, um, you know, do, doing personal development, working on yourself, um, you know, writing a book, for example, you, don't, you can't write a perfect book first time around. In fact, I've had some of my books edited five or six times. Professional proofers that I've paid thousands of pounds. And there's still been, you know, spelling and grammatical errors in the book. No matter how much research I do on my books, there'll always be someone who says, oh, it's too long. Oh, it's too short. Oh, you know, it's not well researched enough. Oh, it's just pseudoscience and too much research. You know, no matter what you do, there'll always be a critic out there as it says at the back there people will hate about you the very thing that is great about you and if you don't risk anything you risk everything um so often just going out um tony who's just uh you know and mark who's just logged in hi you know we're property guys aren't we you know you can do all this deal analysis and you can try and get the perfect deal but if you try and analyze the perfect deal you never get a deal sometimes you just got to go out and do some viewings and you know maybe you don't know the estate agent yet very well or maybe you know you're not you're not perfected your strategy yet you just got to get out there and see what happens and you know perfect it along the way as my new book is called start now get perfect later so don't worry about being perfect don't worry about having all your ducks in a row you know don't worry that some days you're not really on fire if you're going to write a book just open a document and start chucking words out there it might seem like a load of rambly um splurge at first like some of my live feeds do but you can go in you can edit you can tweak and you can make it better next time uh, and i always used to beat myself up if i didn't do anything to the best of my ability um, and you know there's all this 10x go hard go home but actually no one can 10x all day every day and no one can go hard all the time if they go hard for a bit they'll be home for a long time so actually you know a lot of the days you're just kind of normal doing your normal thing, you know. When do you actually fully excel? When do you actually, you know, you're completely in the zone and in the best version of you? Well, in reality, for me, it's like probably two hours a day, at least four hours a day. My brain isn't working properly. I'm dribbling on the floor. Um, you, I don't do live feed videos after six o'clock. Um, because that, that definitely isn't the best version of me. And then what we do is we stop putting pressure on ourselves to be the best and excel and perfect in front of the whole world. Um, and we just get out there and, and, and do things with less expectation. And when we go out there and do things with less expectation, what happens is we accept and bring in more into our life um, the presence, the organic, the things that um, you know, maybe we wouldn't have got before. I've done that with my podcast guests, for example. You know, sometimes I've taken a gamble and I've thought, I'm going to in um, interview this podcast guest. He, yeah, Matthew has just said imperfect action, which I love. And of course, the paradox is the more imperfect action you take, the nearer you get to perfection. But the more you're trying to get to perfection before you start, the never, the, you never even get anything done. Um, yeah, so th these podcast guests, so, you know, like sometimes I, I get podcast guests and I think, mm, you know what, is that really a fit for the disruptive entrepreneur? 
you know, do I really want to um, interview them? Because, you know, I should really only interview people I really want to interview myself or I really look up, look up to or are really on brand with the disruptive entrepreneur. Uh, and then, you know, a couple of times I've been going down to see them thinking, mm, how's this going to fit? And then afterwards, I'm like, wow, that was like great. I never would have probably chosen to do that. The fact that I was doing something a bit different, the fact that maybe I had some doubts and took a little bit of a risk. And, and you know, you're not always sure of yourself. You can't always back yourself. You know, so, you know sometimes you, you, you're just a bit on the fence and you just got to go out there and try stuff and be organic and experiment and not take yourself too seriously and uh, embrace the moment and the things that come in, the opportunities that come every day that, you know, that aren't there if we're not in the game. So anyway, I hope you found this useful. Just to summarize, sometimes your half-assed workouts, sometimes your half-assed efforts are actually your best because they get you started. They create new opportunities. They get you down a road towards perfection. So it's better to start now and get perfect later because done is better than perfect. Have a great day. And remember, if you don't risk anything, you risk everything.